YouTube. This. What's this? Oh, it's a Washburn Rover travel guitar in white. And look at the size of it. It's absolutely tiny. Uh, I bet you I put it out of tune when I put it into the box. But, um, So I bought this just out of nosiness, I uh, wanted to um, see what it was like. Uh, there's a guy who's done a much better review of it than I'm going to be doing just now. Uh, a Scottish guy, an old guy, who's sitting there and he talks like that, very steady. And when I was younger, in the 60s, when distortion was a bad thing, you know, <laughs> like that, he's brilliant. <laughs> I'm going to watch all his videos. Um, Yeah, so this is um, travel guitar. It's full scale, so it's the same size as an acoustic, like the neck is, and then the body is just tiny. Uh, it's quite all the way around. This was a factory second. Well, I didn't, I didn't buy it from the factory, but I think the guy, the guy who bought it new, I think he said he bought it from Gear for Music. It's got like the, the paint's a bit thin. I probably won't show in this video. The paint's a bit thin there and round about here. Uh, I had to see there's a, an extra hole drilled in there, I, this doesn't, didn't come with a second, with a strap button on the back, which acoustics sometimes don't, you know, you're meant to tie it on up here, but I just can't play acoustic like that, so I just, I put a strap button in, and uh, for reference you're better putting it on this side than on that side, because when I put it like that, it used to sit a wee bit like that, also the strap, which came with it, see it says Washburn Rover on it, this is at full length, so it's really, it's actually about right for me, at that full, full stretch. But um, even that, that difference when I had it attached on there just made it that little bit. Oh. Yeah, so it's got, um, it's got open gear tuners. Actually, I just noticed that the tuning heads are actually quite cool, different shaped. Open geared, and see it's got the volute on the back of the headstock. I was going to actually brought it this out just. This needs strings, so I can't really play it just now, but uh, as I know. An original, well, not original, an 80s washburn. If you fancy, they've kind of copied the, the headstock shape. And it's got that exact same triangular volute thing on the back. But then I mean, just look at the difference in size. You know, it's like, it really is ridiculous how big an acoustic is. <laughs> like, compared to it. See, it's also got a bit of a chamfer on the back. It's not electro. I, I, I was kind of expect it to have a piezo pickup in it. But it doesn't, um, because it's kind of gets thin here. I think the only problem I would have would be the EQ bit would have to go here. But I'm thinking of doing it just out of interest again. You can pick up pieces for very little in China. Um, and fit it just to see. I mean, obviously it's not as loud as an acoustic. Like a full-blown acoustic, but I mean... See, for practicing or for learning the guitar, you could easily learn on this, absolutely no problem at all. Mind you, they are 150 quid, or maybe even up to 200 quid. I looked at them on eBay new, and um, for 150 quid, 200 quid, you get a good acoustic guitar, so it has to be good, you know? So it's like, it's like kind of... I suppose they may, may spent, they may have spent the money on the neck, so the neck's probably better than what you would get on a... 200 pound acoustic because the money's been spent on the neck and the body's obviously tiny and I'd imagine you could probably just use off cuts from a factory so the body's the, the wood for the body's probably free it's not it's not quiet you can still annoy somebody quite successfully with this the good thing is you can pure back it level out the way if, if you put like a, a nylon string and you're trying to make it as loud as you can once you start thumping it it starts to just kind of go bleh, go floppy whereas 
it doesn't get it doesn't get particularly loud, but it's still bright enough. Like you can definitely get along with like a singer songwriter chap sitting next to you, and you just batter away in this. Rab, I'm gonna do that with you actually. I didn't put new strings on it either, these were, I imagine the ones that uh, were on it when it came brand new. I think the guy, I think it's only about a month old. The guy was like sitting there, uh, I bought it off in uh, the south side, just said um, I, he had it for like six weeks and then bought himself a real acoustic and it's like, this stuff's good. But uh, the case, it comes in, it's pretty good, apparently this has been designed to fit in the overhead locker of a, you know, your carry-on like luggage on a plane and it's a uh, you know it's like sort of foam or like solid foam inside sort of, I don't know, some sort of material but it's nice and solid and it's got a uh, came with a strap and it comes with these the uh, straps for the back so you can make you wear it like a rucksack I like that uh, and actually which is rare for me I got all the shit you get with it because it was so new so it came with like uh, I think that's a, a shim, an Allen key, a couple of shims, an Allen key, and another bridge. The handy a uh, tag, Washburn Rover, the ultimate travel guitar. Oof, anytime, any place. Uh, so you get shit. Anytime, any place. In the car, on a boat, in a plane, on a boat, on a train, at the camp, at the beach, with your friends. You can teach on a stage in the park. You can play one in the dark. <laughs> Yeah, came fitted with Vincey strings. It came from Gear for Music warranty. I think I bought all that in. One year warranty, Washburn Rover. Oh. I think I just felt something fall out there. Oh, that was. Oh. Strung with Didario strings. E. Learned to play guitar. CD. I'm sure it was Plectrum with it as well somewhere. Did it? Yeah, aye, right, so you've actually got. I don't know if they actually Washburn Rover ones. They are, you get Washburn Rover plectrums as well. So the full set. So if you're. Learning, playing at school, the kiddies. Yes, totally learning this. Sitting down, um, I feel like I've got the camera at an angle. It does actually work all right for sitting down. Um, you have to kind of sit. You st you st you st if you've used a strap, it just hangs fine. You used to be able to kind of, you can't sit it, you know, like a normal acoustic like that. You have to sit it in between your legs. The reason I don't know what it's going to sound like on the camera, but uh, part of the reason it sounds okay when you're playing it is see because it's so thin, you're totally over the top of it. You know, all, all the sound obviously comes out the sound hole. Well, I can kind of see the sound hole, so you're getting it blasting in your own face. trying to make travel guitars and I've got like a couple of wee three quarter size uh, strats or I've got one left uh, just to try and make you know something that's a bit more portable but when I saw this and it came came with the case because no matter how small you make a guitar it's still really annoying having to, that was the thing with the three quarter size strats I, I had to put it in a real case like a, a full size case I didn't have a short case or something but that's quite solid I think it'd be quite easy just to chuck in the back of the car and you can kind of just leave it <laughs> Washburn Rover, uh, yeah, all you 
to do is put the strap a strap button in the back so you can play it like a normal guitar. I'm a bit more used to it, I don't really play acoustics very much. Partly because I think on that uh, Washburn, I bought Elixir strings for it. I think they were either very, very, very old, you know, like from 20 years ago, or they were fake. So the guitar never really kind of went dead. I bought new strings, I bought this time, I might get that up and running. and roll acoustic style and Rab you're gonna love this guitar 